In this video series, we are going to learn how to create object oriented programming in Python by making a text based adventure game called Deepest Dungeon. Um, so, prior to going into these tutorials, we would have had a discussion talking about the idea of what object oriented programming is, the idea of objects, the idea of um, classes, and the idea of attributes and methods. So, um, assuming you have an understanding about that, if you are in my class and you're actually just watching this video, you want to have a look into some of the basic understandings of what those concepts are. So to start off with, let's have a look where we're going to go. So we're going to create this. We're going to do this through about eight different stages. And we, the first one for, we'll do is stage one. Let's have a look at that. So stage one, what we're going to do is going to create three rooms in our dungeon area. And we're going to link those rooms together. That's the actual task that we're going to do in stage one. So this is an example of our little map. We've got three rooms, cavern, armory, and lab. And you see that they're linked together like this in that our armory, the caverns to the north of it, the labs to the east of it, lab is to the, no, to the west is the armory, etc. So that's how they're all connected together. So there's two things we need to do. We need to create the actual rooms and then we need to link the rooms together. So what steps does that involve? That steps involved is basically we're gonna have two main two files. We're gonna have main.py, which runs the program, and we're gonna have the room.py, which is in its own class, um, which is its own file. Um, it's gonna store the information about the room class. Um, over here, you can see the UML, so the Universal Modeling Language the description of what the room is. Um, so our room class will have a few different things. It will have these different attributes. It will have name, description, and the linked rooms. And these two are strings, and this one is a dictionary, um, which is a, a paired list. And then we have two methods that are involved here. So methods, remember what your things the rooms, the class does. So the things that rooms will do, you can describe a room and you can link a room together. And these are the attributes that we're talking about here. So the steps we're going to take in this tutorial in stage one, we're going to define our room class in our in our room.py room, um, uh, file. We're then going to create room objects. We're going to describe those room objects, so make this describe method. We're then going to link the rooms together, and then we're going to work out how to include those linked room information into the described function. So let's get Thony fired up, and you can use any editor. I We use um, Thony as our IDE or our um, design environment, development environment in, um, in our classes. So I'm going to create a new file here, and this is going to be, and put the name at the top to make it obvious, this is my room.py file. So, as we'll explain that in, um, in Python, rooms are classes. So to start off, we're going to start with the class um, definition. So room, there. Things you need to take a notice here. Um, Style-wise, with Python, all classes start with a capital um, letter. It doesn't have to, it's not syntactical required, but it is a style to give an idea that we're talking about a class here, which is just useful um, for people to make it more readable and more understandable yourself. So in there, with all classes, we have, um, we have a very special function which runs automatically. So whenever you create an object using this class, so when, if I create a room, let's say if I create the cavern room, this function will automatically be run as soon as I create that in the main program and call call this function. So this function is called underscore underscore init, stands for initialization, and then I'm going to send, we got to send at least one, always have to send one argument, which is self, which is referring to this instance of this object. So if I make three rooms, this will refer to whatever room we have made for this, um, whatever room object has been made. So it's referring to itself, referring to this particular object, this particular room. And so if you see self in, in classes, that's what's referring back to the instance of this object that has been made. And then I'm also going to require that they pass information of the room name in, which is going to be a string. Right, so to first off, um, remember we make a function, we just want to explain what the um, function does. Initialize the room object, right? And then we are now going to look at, well, what are our um, attributes that we need to work with? So first off, room name needs to go somewhere because each room needs to have its name. So I'm going to say self.name, um, self.name equals room name. And I'm going to put a lower at the end here so it doesn't matter what they put in as the actual um, syntax of it. Um, or, or the capitalization of the string, it doesn't matter. It's going to be automatically made across to a lower. So what's saying is when I create a room using this 
um, using this class. If I say room, so it would be the cavern. Um, if I've said room in here, so this, this instance of the room, its name is going to be cavern because that's what they have been passed in. And the other thing that we're interested in is the other attribute at this stage is um, the description attribute. So I get that. And at the moment, I don't have that information. So I'm just going to make it none. Right here. So that is all I need initially for um, my, to be able to create a room. I can actually create a room now and I'm going to go across. I'm going to save this and I'm going to say this is my room.py. Now I'm going to, I've putting this into my Git folder that I've made particularly for this tutorial series. Here we are. And this is just going to be called room. Um, .py. Okay, and it's really important that all these files are in the same folder. Okay, so I've gone save room.py and I now have that. Rightio, so um, I'm now going to create a new file and this is going to be my main.py um, file. So main.py again, so it's obviously at the top there to make it easy for me. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create rooms. Um, yep, so I'm just going to say, well, first thing I need to do, I need to import the room um, class from my room file. So, so I'm going to say from room, so from room.py, import room. So I've now imported my class from the room file here. So I've done that, and now I'm going to create rooms. Radio. So if I say... Um, I'm going to make cavern equals room. Put a cavern on there. Actually, it doesn't matter if I put a cavern on there because it get, removes it. So I've created my cavern room. I'm going to create my uh, armory room. All right, and then I'm going to also make my lab room. Okay, so I've created those three rooms. Now, at the moment, that's not going to mean much to me um, because I've created them, but I don't know if they are around. So um, I'm going to just show you that they actually exist. I'm going to say print. Um, I'm going to say, just for example, cavern.name, right? And that should print me. The, I'm going to save this now, save you. Make sure you're in the same folder. So it should be in um, cloud git here, right? And I'm going to call this my main.py, save. So if I run that now, it should print cavern because it's actually, I've created a room called cavern. I have then put that value I've passed in this value here as a room name and it's been assigned to self.name. Now I haven't got anything for the descriptions yet. So let's let's put the descriptions. Now I can refer to the actual, um, as you can see I did here with the name by saying print cavern.name. This is actually referring directly to the attribute of cavern. So if I wanted to change the description of cavern, because at the moment the description of cavern is nothing. If I wanted to change it, I can just sit there and say cavern. Um, he's going to let me do that. Description. I just press tab there to bring that up. And I'm going to say, I want to make that attribute. And I'm going to copy this down here because I know how bad my typing is. And you guys will be sitting around for ages wanting for me to do this. So copy here. And I'm going to put that in there. Rightio. So I've got the cavern.description. So if I was to say print cavern name now and then go print. Um, cavern dot description. If I was to press play on that now, you'll see cavern and then a room so big that the light of your torch doesn't reach the walls. So you have these two have been stored in cavern. So the same way we can do it for armory. I am taking the actual room, the object room or the instance of that, that the armory one, and I'm going to adjust the description on that to equal to and 
the walls are lined with racks that once held weapons and armor. And then finally, to the laboratory, I'm going to say lab dot um, description. Again, three letters, and I press tab, and it will tell me if there's an automatically appropriate um, value that I want. So pressing there. So now I've got all these, I can actually go through, and I can go through and print each of those off each time. I could change this from tavern to being lab. Lab. All right, and you see it says lab tree down here because it me the information that I need. But I want to do it a little bit simpler on that. I actually want to go back, if we look at our UML, and our, you can see that I've actually, oh, I've got a methodology here called describe. So let's go back into room because this is the room um, method that I'm a method that's going to apply to the room class. So I'm going to come over here and I'm creating a new method. And a new method is basically a new function that exists within the class. So this one is going to be um, describe. Um, what do I want to describe? So self. So I want you to I'm passing describing and I'm referring to whatever instance, again, of this room that I'm talking about. So if I say cavern, descri cavern dot describe, it's referring to the cavern um, instance. So what I'm gonna do, this is going to display a description of the room in the UI, which is our, just a console down here at the moment. So what I wanna say is print, and let's make this a, a formatted string. Um, and I'm just going to say, you are in the, and because it's a formatted string, I can now put um, a variable in here. And I want to put the variable of whatever the, um, whatever the name is for this particular instance. So you are in the cavern, right? And the next line is going to say print, um, self, and this will now describe the description for me. Um, description. Okay. So I'm going to print the description. Now I've done that. So I'm going to save that. Press Control S to save. And in here, instead of saying this each time, I'm just going to say I'm going to describe the rooms now. And that's going to let's just have a look at them. I'm going to say. All right, so it's going to say cavern dot describe. That's what I want to do, and open close brackets because it's a method that's actually being run, All right? And then I want to say armory dot describe. Open close brackets because it's going to run that method, and then finally lab dot. Okay. So now if I run that, it should, let's see if it works. Yeah, you are in, well, that's not good. You are in the cab. I'm going to fix the typing up there. You're in the armory. And look, there's also, it's really bunched together. They're all together. That's a bit of a mess. So I'm going to come back over to room and make a little change here. I'm going to fix my typo up. And then I'm also going to put a line return at the beginning. So that should make it um, a spare line between run. Again, saving, control S. Press play, and you see, ah, you're in the cavern, the room's so big. So it's going through and describing each one of the objects, rooms that we have made. So going back, let's have a look at our plans for this for this task. We have defined the room class, we've created the room objects, we've described the room objects, and now we're gonna link the rooms together. And this is a little bit tricky, but what we're gonna do is we're going to make a dictionary, which will say for each room, if a object is, another room is north, then for the value of north, it's gonna say, this is the room that's north, which is another object. So let's have a look at how we're going to do that. So in here, um, go back to my room file. Um, and the next one I need to do is um, link rooms. So I'm going to um, describe another method here. So define another function. Um, link rooms, right? I need to be passed self because this is what rooms are linked to this particular instance. I also need to know what room I'm going to link to. Um, so is the cavern is going to be linked to the armory, 
radio, and then I also need to know the direction that the link is happening. Radio. So the red direction is to the south. So the cavern, the cavern is it is going to be linked to the armory to the direction of south. Right. When that information gets passed in, um, I need to actually say here links the pro um, guided room to the uh, in the provided direction. Whoa, that's horrible typing. Let's try that. Okay, so what we're we gonna do? So basically we need to say this, right? So self doc. Oh, I've got to make the actual dictionary up here as a new attribute. We have a major. So I come up to here. This is a new attribute of the room, which is all the other rooms it's linked to. So self of this instance, self dot um, linked rooms equals and it's just going to be an empty dictionary because at first we haven't got anything linked so let's add things to a um, to a dictionary so self dot linked rooms um, so that's that attribute here self dot linked rooms and what I'm going to say and this is how we do it with the dictionary you have to give the key so the direction that they gave me so to the south is direction and again, I'm gonna just make this lower to make sure it's consistent because you need to refer back to it. Um, equals room to link. And what it's gonna produce is gonna produce a, a pairing, which will say to the south, for, in this case for the cavern, to the south is the armory, okay? And that's all we need to do in that dictionary, in that particular file. So I'm gonna save that, control S come back to the main one and say now I need to link these rooms together okay link rooms together so to do that I'm going to say linking the rooms together I'm going to say that the cavern dot I'm going to link the rooms that link to the cavern so link rooms yep open the brackets and I need to say that Remember, it's asking me, asking me for the room to link and the direction. So it links to the, referring to the armory room, which we've made. So the armory, and what direction is it? The direction is, um, is to the south. So I'm just going to say south. If I was in, had the click, let's try it again. Um, south, okay, so that's been linked there. So what other, if we look back at our, our little map um, page up. So the cavern, the armory is south. So I've, I've, the cavern's all linked now. So what's the armory linked to? The armory's linked to the cavern to the north and the lab to the, to the right. For each room, you need to say what other room is linked. You just can't do it once. You need to do from both perspectives. So let's go back here and we say cavern. So now I'm in the armory. Uh, armory dot um link rooms and i'm going to say that the um the armory is linked to the north is to the cavern cavern is to the north and um armory dot link rooms and to the the lab which is just this here not the full name just the lab the actual object that we created lab is to the east and then finally I need to say the lab and the lab dot link rooms I want to link the lab to the armory which is to the west of the lab right yeah so now I have all those they've all been put in there is but I need to be able to see it and I could write down the description down here, or because I've already got the describe, I can actually go back to room, save in here, go back to room, and I'm gonna add this to the description. Rightio, so let's see how we're gonna do that. I'm going to iterate over whatever list. So remember, this is our whatever dictionary. This dictionary here, this is the actual dictionary for whatever room we're in. So for the cavern, it's gonna be a dictionary with one element. For the armory, it's gonna have two elements. But what you wanna say is, 
four, and remember the direction is um, the direction is the key. So for direction in self dot linked rooms. Okay, so it's going to look at all the pairings, and then it's going to take the key, which is called direction, will be made the direction, and we're going to say um, print. I'm going to do an f string here, and we're going to say to the what are the direction is. So that's the actual key of the dictionary. And then I need to say, well, now I know what the actual, um, I know the direction. So in this case, the first one is going to be for the cabin. So that will be to the south. To the south is the, and well, I know that it's the armory, but we need to refer to that up here. So it's going to be self, whatever's in the dictionary of linked rooms, um, belonging to the key, which is a direction, right? So what to the south, whatever room is to the south, but I don't want to see the actual print the room because that's an object. I need to print the name of that room. Okay, so let's have a look. If I close it off there and I do that, let's hope I've done all that right. Saving the room, coming back to main, and now when I describe it, it should list off all the, um, all the rooms in what direction. Let's have a look. Run it. Here we are. So, you're in the cavern. A room's a bigger issue. Walls to the south is the armory. That's correct. You're in the armory. The walls are lined with racks that once held weapons and armor. To the north is a cavern. That's correct. And to the east is a laboratory. Yeah. And you're in the laboratory. Strange odor hangs in the room, fills with noble contraptions. To the west is the armory, which is correct. So, there we are. We've just gone through and we've created three rooms and we've linked them together. So, your task. Um, for this little thing, so we just say we've gone through, we've defined the rooms, we've created, defined the room class, we've created di three different room objects, we've described the room objects, we've linked those rooms together, and now we've actually included the link, whatever links are in the description there. So we've done this UML. So what we're going to do is a little task for you to do before our next tutorial is that you need to now create an additional room, so that's a fourth room, and you need to link that additional room to one or more of the existing rooms. So you can work out which ones you want to, you can work out where you want to put it, it's up to you and what kind of object, um, what kind of room it is. Let's try to stick with the theme, like don't say space station or something. But um, that's what we're doing for this task and that's our first task in doing this object-oriented um, course.